In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up and play music from your device of choice with your brand new Pioneer DJ, DDJ200. Let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's DJ Holland and today I'm going to show you how to get set up and started with your brand new Pioneer DJ DDJ200. Now this is a fantastic controller for those people looking to take their first steps into the world of DJing and it's available to be used with a lot of different devices and applications so it's very versatile. So today I'm going to show you how to get set up on iPhone, on Android, on your iPad and also for laptop users as well. In this beginner's guide, I'm gonna be using the Wii DJ application, Algorithm DJ for iPad, and finally, Record Box for laptop users. So without further ado, let's get you set up and playing music. So the first thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to get our controller connected to our device of choice. So if you're using a phone or an iPad, for this DDJ200, you're going to be connecting via Bluetooth. This means there's no physical connection between the deck and your device of choice. So we're gonna to need to get the controller powered on first of all. So we do this using the supplied USB cable. Now you can use any form of USB power to connect the DDJ200 and get it turned on. So a battery bank would work if you're out and about and on the go. But for me, personally, I like to use an old phone charger that I have kicking about. Anything that's supplying five volts USB power, connect that to the controller and it will light up. Now we need to get our device of choice and make sure we have the latest version of the application installed. So on our article, you can click the top right hand corner just here to read the written article for this video. We do have links to the Wii DJ application in the App Store and Google Play Store. Make sure you've got your most recent version installed. And also for iPad, the Algorithm DJ application. Once you've got your application of choice installed, Wii DJ users will want to launch the application and then click the settings cog in the upper right hand corner. Once you've pressed on this, scroll down to the section where it says connect the DDJ200. Press this. If it's your first time using the application, you may be prompted for the application to use your device's Bluetooth connections. Click OK, and then you will see a DDJ200 listed, and it says not connected. Press on the DDJ200, and within a few seconds, you will have your device connected to your controller, and you will get a black animation screen saying DDJ200, and you are connected. Algorithm DJ users, it's slightly different for you using your iPad. You will launch the application, click on the algorithm logo in the center top of the screen. This will open up the menu bar. When you're in the menu bar, you want to click the settings in the bottom right hand corner. When you're in the settings, scroll down to MIDI devices. In here, there's another section called Bluetooth MIDI devices. Click on here. It may ask you again to uh, accept the application's um, Bluetooth support. You will have to accept it the first time you do this. Once you've done that, you'll see the DDJ200 not connected. Click on the DDJ200. This should now change to connected and the controller itself will sweep through its lights. You are now connected. So that's how we get our phones and our iPads connected to the DDJ200. Finally, for all you laptop users out there, because we need the USB port on the back of the controller, this usually powers the controller, but your computer can power it and connect to it using just the USB cable. So grab that USB cable, plug it in to your computer and plug it into the DDJ200. You are now connected as well. So you may be wondering, how do we get our speakers and our headphones connected with the DDJ200. The back of the device has no ports on it whatsoever and it's not even physically connected to our device of choice if we're using a phone or an iPad. Well, thankfully, Pioneer DJ included one of these cables in the box. This is called an audio splitter cable. This connects to the headphone port of your device of choice. So if you're using an iPhone or an Android phone for the Wii DJ application, you'll want to connect this into your phone. 
iPhone users, you may need a lightning adapter for your headphone port as many iPhones don't have this connection anymore. Android users, if your phone doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter headphone port as well, you will need to buy a USB type C um, adapter to plug this in. iPad users, you will also need to make sure your iPad has a headphone connection. If it doesn't, you may need a lightning or USB type C adapter to headphone port to connect this in. You will only know this by looking at your iPad of choice. iPad Pros are usually USB type C, but the older and lesser models of iPad usually need a lightning adapter. Links to these adapters are in the written document in the written guide, so please do click on the top right corner or in the link below to go read that guide and you can get hold of these adapters. Laptop users, most laptops will have a headphone port on them, so just connect this straight into your headphone port. Once you have this cable connected to your device of choice, we need to simply connect our headphones to the white connector and our speakers that we're gonna to play to our crowd with to the black connector. Once you've done that and you've got this connected, that is your headphones and speakers connected to your device of choice. So now that we have our controller connected to our device of choice, we have our headphones and speakers also wired in, connected to our devices. We just need to make sure we've got one setting checked so that everything works as it should. And this is called split output. Split output enables the device to know to send what should be going to your speaker to the speaker end of that cable and what should be going to your headphones to the headphone end of that cable. And it's really simple to check this setting. We DJ application users, so iPhone users and Android users, click the top right hand corner and go back into the settings menu. Click the audio option and then just ensure that the split output is checked on. Once this is checked on, you've done everything you need to do, you're ready to start DJ. Algorithm DJ users on iPad. Click on the top logo again to launch the menu bar and head into the settings on the bottom right hand corner. From here, in the settings near the top, you will see split output. Make sure this is checked on. Once this is checked on, you can press done, go out of the settings and you're ready to get DJ. Finally, for record box users, there's a button in the top right hand corner of your display. Make sure this icon is turned on. It should be going blue when it is turned on. And this is all you need to do to get your headphones working properly and your speakers working properly. And there we have it. It's as simple as that to get the DDJ200 set up with your device and software of choice. We've got our controller set up properly. We've got our headphones and our speakers connected to the right ends of that cable and we're using the correct settings for that cable also. So all that's left is for you to go ahead, download your favorite music and start DJ. Now, if you do want to learn any more about the DDJ200, we have a full beginner course available. I'll leave a link in the description below. But in that course, we teach you absolutely everything you need to know about this amazing little controller. And we teach you how to beat match and get started mixing your favorite music together, sounding professional and clean. So please do check that out if you want to learn more about this amazing controller. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video for more tips, tricks, and all things DJ related. We're uploading videos every week, so make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified when the latest video is uploaded. Thanks a lot for sticking around and watching this video, and I hope you enjoy your first steps into the amazing world of DJing. I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.